Welcome to video 38 on fun with Arduino. We are going to have a closer look at a distance measurement system and we are going to use the ultrasonic HCSR04 which is this little nifty device. It has a uh, loudspeaker and a microphone and what it does is it sends out a sound, a burst of, of, of pulses, sound pulses and then it measures the time that it takes for the microphone to pick up the reflection. Uh, this is how it works. We send a short trigger signal to the trigger pin that needs to be only 10 microseconds. Then the device sends out the sound waves uh, at 40 kilohertz so nobody can hear it. Yeah, maybe your cat or your dog but uh, humans can't. And then uh, it measures the time that it takes for the echo to return. And via a little calculation which includes the speed of sound in air, which is approximately 330 meters per second, we can calculate the distance of the object. These little devices are very cheap, they set you back just one dollar and they are often used uh, yeah, just as a measurement device of course, or on maybe a robot car like this where it even is mounted on a servo and it can rotate so the uh, computer can be aware of distances on different angles, which is very fun. Let's have a look at some software, how we can read out this device and calculate the distance. With this software we can read out the device and calculate the speed. The first thing we do is of course define the trucker pin uh, on, on one of the Arduino pins and also the echo pin. And then in the setup we create the output, the trigger output and the echo input. And then in the loop what we do is uh, we first send out our trigger pulse. So we make the trigger pin high and then we wait 20 microseconds and make it low again. And then we have to measure that time on the echo pin. And that uh, does not require any complicated software. There is one instruction built in the Arduino to measure the pulse length of a uh, pulse on a pin. And that command is called pulse in. And it requires, of course, the pin number. And then, is that uh, are we measuring the high or the low status? Well, that gives us the measure time. And then we do this calculation over here uh, to multiply it by the speed of sound in air and divide it by two because we want to have the one distance. And the measurement is the the from and to distances uh, added together. So we divide by two and then we have the distance in millimeters and then we can of course also uh, calculate the inches. Um, I made those both a float and then I want to print them. And to print them I have a little timer. That means that I, d I don't you know, print it every uh, measurement but only once a second. And then we print it over here. Print with leading spaces. Yes, that's just to make the print out a bit nicer because of course we can have a short number or a longer number above 100 or maybe above 1000 even. So that print with leading spaces is a little subroutine and it just checks if the value is uh, uh, how large the value is and then print a couple of spaces if needed. Um, well that is actually it. Well I built in also a digital output. If the distance is smaller than a given defined distance then we make an output pin high. Uh, so that we also have a digital output and we can use this uh, the uh, ultrasonic measurement device as a on off switch uh, to see if there is an object within a certain range or not. This is it, let's have a look at it in practice. Here we are, I placed a reflective object at 50 millimeters approximately. Oh, let me open the serial monitor, yeah. It tells us approximately 50 millimeters. 
Um, I'm going to move it to approximately 18 millimeters, uh, 80 I should say. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks good on the screen. It's a little bit noise, uh, I don't know why that is, but uh, well, you can't expect a very high accuracy of this device of course. But okay, let's go to, 20 to, to 120 millimeters, yeah, it tells here. 117 yeah and i'm of course doing it very uh, inaccurate right now but it uh, it seems to work quite nice so you could make uh, this a portable device if we would have let's say a little display on it and a battery power then i have a nice handheld measurement device and it, it goes even up to one meter or something like that um, oh, b all, all the, by the way, also our digital output uh, is working. Uh, it's over here. It's right now. It's on, and uh, if I take it away, it's off. So you can also use it, of course, as an, uh, a detector that detects if there is something within a certain range. Um, okay, let's go in the next video to this. Uh, display we are going to use a nice little OLED display for that uh, maybe see you back there